In this segment, I'm going to be showing you how to do a dry run with your tile to make sure the layout is working. As you can see, we've snapped our lines, and what you can do if you run into a problem with your lines coming off is you can take a little bit of hairspray and just spray it over top of them so that they're always there. Now that we have our line snapped, I'm going to take a tile, in this case we're using 6 by 6s and I'm going to set it right on that line. I'm going to take a spacer and I'm going to plug my spacer in and I'm going to put the next tile in. I'm going to complete this, pro complete this process until I get all the way down to the end of where I want to run my tile to. Basically what you're looking for with this is you're looking to try and make sure A, you have enough tile, B, you want to make sure that your tile are going to break even on the walls. If you have a 12 inch tile, you don't want 3 inches inning on that side and 6 inches inning on this side. You want it to be as close to 6 inches all the way around, 5 inches, wherever the majority of the tile breaks. That's what you're looking for when it comes to laying out your tile. You can also do this with a storyboard. You can actually take a 2x4, measure out the width of your tile plus the length, the size of your grout joint and use a storyboard as well. Um, basically a 2x4, most of us prefer to do a dry run with the tile. You want to make sure to stay right on your lines as well. If you see that you're coming off your lines, you want to step back and remeasure because you may be crooked. In this direction, I can tell that my tiles are going to break even within a quarter of an inch, which is an acceptable tolerance. 